Okay, let's discuss how to actually set up your default email inside the Gmail holding account. And this is going to hold true, especially for the GoDaddy folks who use Workspace Tools, which is a nice email program. However, everything, all the systems block it from becoming the default email editor. So here's a simple workaround for that solution. So you're in Google Chrome, you're in Dealer Lead Track, and you also have your Gmail account open. If you don't have a Gmail account, just create a holding account just for what we're going to do, because we're actually going to place your GoDaddy email address inside this Google holding account, and then we'll set your GoDaddy email to be the number one email. So what we're going to do is we're logged into our generic Gmail account, and we're going to hit settings. We're going to go to the gear in the settings. We're going to go to labs. We're going to scroll down in labs. We're going to find the red M. We're going to enable multiple inboxes. And we're going to go ahead and click save changes at the bottom left. So you're enabling the ability to add additional email addresses inside this holding account. Now let's go back to the gear. Let's go back to settings. We're going to go to accounts and import. We're going to go ahead and go to check mail from other accounts using POP3. So we're going to go ahead and click add a POP3 email account you own. So for this instance, I'm going to use an old test because I know this is with GoDaddy from an old condo association I used to belong to. So we're going to enter the GoDaddy email address. That's got to be a .org, not a comma .org. We're going to enter the GoDaddy email address. So we're going to use the username is going to be the email address. So in your instance, this would be, you know, Joe at Riverside Motors or something like that. Okay. So we're going to enter the password. But go, Google's making some assumptions here, and the assumptions are incorrect. So for your pop server for GoDaddy, your pop server for GoDaddy is pop.secure server.net the SSL port is 995 and I recommend you leave a copy of the retrieve message on the server this way your workspace tools will also show the emails you'll always want to use a secure connection you want to label your incoming messages to this new email and you want to archive uh, the incoming messages so we're going to go ahead and choose all four and you want to hit add account now Google's kind of weird because sometimes they actually tell you you already have an account even though you don't. So sometimes you have to enter it twice, sometimes three times. So I've seen, ins well, it would help if I put the password in right. Okay, so now I, I have the password. I'm going to hit Add Account. Okay, so that went ahead and took the account, but now we also want to be able to retrieve mail from the account. So you say yes. Same thing, Mark Brandt. Treat as an alias. That's okay. You're going to click Next Step. You're going to go ahead and change the mail server because, again, Google makes an assumption it's incorrect. The GoDaddy is SMTP out dot secure server dot net. The username, we're going to go back and use the email address for the dealership. And we're going to go ahead to SSL, and the port for SSL for GoDaddy is 465. 
And these are all the settings. We've done a lot of research getting this, getting this solution. Uh, things constantly change. This is a fantastic solution, especially for the GoDaddy guys. You could put your Yahoo in here. Uh, again, Google and Microsoft control your computer. They are at constant war over the computer and your screen. They do a lot of sneaky things behind the scenes. Uh, if you were in the tech world doing the development, uh, you would hate both of them uh, and love both of them at the same time. So we're going to go ahead and again add the account now. Okay, great. So a confirmation email was sent over to that email address. So let me go ahead over here and log in. Oops. So the confirmation email was sent 448. 04308. Now that was actually sent to this email, so it's going to be sent to the email that you're setting up. So I want to verify. That just allows Google to know you're actually a real person. So now what you can see is you see you have your initial holding account that we created, and you also have this dealership account. And what you're going to do is you're going to make the dealership account your default account. So I'm going to hit make default. So now, every time you send an email, it's gonna, when Google Chrome opens in Gmail, the email is going to be sending as the email address you just sent up, set up, which is your GoDaddy email. And that's how simple it is. So let's go ahead now and go back to our inbox. We're going to go back to Dealer Lead Track. We're going to open up the customer again. We're going to hit Send Email. For this one, let's go ahead and send. Uh, let's send the release email. So now we're opening Gmail again because you're in Google Chrome. Gmail's open. Dealer lead tracks open. So here's the the email we're scripting. So if you click once in the uh, if you click on the customer email address, then Google or Gmail will open up who you're sending from. And as you can see, you're sending from your dealership email address. You can, of course, choose the holding account, but we've set the dealership email address as the default email editor. So now when I go ahead and hit send, it will it will come into it will be sent from your dealership email address. So if I hit send, there, we just sent the email. You used your dealership email address, but you use that inside Google Chrome under settings and accounts. And that's how simple it is to add an additional email address so that you can overcome the obstacles that both Microsoft and Google have put into place for the other companies that you might utilize. It's a great solution, it's a simple solution, and the reason why Dealer Lead Track uses your email editor is so that you're the one sending the email. Therefore, the customer spam filter isn't going to put up a red flag and send your emails to spam. And that's how simple it is to add a holding account and your GoDaddy account into the Gmail holding account inside Dealer Lead Track.